Japan is a volcanic country with 111 active volcanoes and has experienced many volcanic disasters in the past. While only relatively small eruptions have occurred in recent years, a major eruption that impacts a wide area could occur at any time. And Mount Fuji is no exception. What would happen if there were a major eruption of Mount Fuji? Let's take a look at the volcanic phenomenon that may occur in the event of a major eruption. Large rocks. In an eruption, large numbers of rocks spew out of the volcano near its crater. Sometimes these rocks can even be several meters wide, powerful enough to destroy the roofs of buildings. They could cause injuries or loss of life. Lava flow. A lava flow forms when magma spews from the crater and flows down the volcano while still very hot. Lava flows are not fast moving, but they burn and they bury everything in their path. Pyroclastic flow. When very hot volcanic gas and molten lava are expelled in an eruption and collapse, they can combine with hot volcanic ash and rocks and slide down the volcano very fast at speeds of more than 100 kilometers per hour. Pyroclastic flows reach several hundred degrees Celsius and burn up everything they touch. Snowmelt type mud flow. If a pyroclastic flow occurs when the volcano is covered in snow, the snow on the slopes melts in the heat and becomes a large amount of water. This water combines with rocks and debris to form a fast-moving mud flow that can travel long distances. Ashfall. In an eruption, volcanic ash gets carried on wind high in the sky and falls back to the ground, where it accumulates. Small volcanic rocks, several centimeters in diameter, can be carried on the wind and rain down even far away from the eruption. After volcanic ash falls over an area, debris flows are more likely to occur when it rains. They can occur with less rainfall than ordinary debris flows. Of the various volcanic phenomena, ash falls impact a wide area. The Hoe eruption in 1707 continued intermittently over a period of 16 days. About 100 kilometers away in Edo, now Tokyo, about two centimeters of volcanic ash accumulated. Around Mount Fuji, a large amount of volcanic ash flowed into riverbeds. Water disasters were a problem for several decades after the eruption. ま、最近の30年に1回は噴火してる火山なんです。それがま、最近の300年以上非常に静かな状態が続いてるという意味で、ま、富士山の活動としては少し異常な状態だというふうに思いますね。10倍以上の期間今休んでるわけですよ。そ
immediately after the eruption, becoming 60 to 70 centimeters thick after two days. Near Sagamihara City, about 60 kilometers from Mount Fuji, coarse volcanic ash with a diameter of less than two millimeters would mostly rain down. This would feel like beach sand raining down. The volcanic ash would begin to accumulate soon after the eruption, becoming 20 centimeters thick after two days. In Shinjuku, about 100 kilometers from Mount Fuji, fine grain volcanic ash with a diameter of less than 0.5 millimeters would mostly rain down. It would become muddy if it rained, potentially creating a thick muck. The volcanic ash would begin to accumulate soon after the eruption, becoming five centimeters thick after two days. Let's take a closer look at what impact ash falls would have. Impact on buildings. If more than 30 centimeters of volcanic ash accumulates on roofs, the weight of the ash when it rained could cause wooden buildings to collapse. If volcanic ash accumulates in excess of the snow load of buildings with large open spaces like gymnasiums, they could also potentially collapse. Building air conditioner filters could also get clogged. Impact on roads. When it's not raining, two-wheel drive vehicles could not be driven in ashfall of 10 centimeters or more. When it rains, the thick muck would make driving impossible in ashfall of three centimeters or more. Impact on supplies. Delivering supplies would be a challenge due to road travel problems. Stores would also have difficulty operating, interrupting the availability of supplies. Impact on railroads. Even a small amount of ashfall would cause issues with how electricity is conducted between trains and rails and railway operating systems would not be able to identify the location of trains, meaning that trains could not run. Impact on people's movements. Travel to return home or go to work would be a challenge due to suspended train service and traffic jams on roads. Means of travel would be limited to walking due to road travel problems. Impact on the power supply. If it rained with the ash fall of more than three millimeters, the ability of insulators to keep electricity from leaving power lines would decline, potentially causing power outages. If there were a power outage and fuel for emergency generators ran out, water and sewer service and other lifeline infrastructure would be affected. With ash fall of several centimeters, the intake filters at the thermal power plants would need to be replaced more frequently, potentially lowering power generation capacity. Impact on the water system. Water quality would decline, in part from volcanic ash flowing into rivers, and water may not be safe for drinking or the water supply could be disrupted if water purification plant's capacity is exceeded. Impact on the sewer system. When it rains and after using water to clean up volcanic ash, this water could clog combined sewer pipes and storm drains, potentially causing water to overflow. Impact on communications. Communications to confirm people's safety and so on would be concentrated in specific areas and getting through could be difficult if communications exceeded equipment capacity. Impact on health. Abnormalities may arise with the eyes, nose, throat, airways, and so on. Let's see how widespread the impact of the ash fall that we've talked about would be. This is the ash fall, three hours after an eruption in the case of a west-southwest wind, which would have major social and economic impacts. The orange area represents the area where wooden buildings could collapse when it rained. The purple area represents the area where travel on roads would be impacted. The solid line shows the area where two-wheel drive vehicles would not be drivable, while the dotted line shows the area where two-wheel drive vehicles would not be drivable when it rained, 
and where driving would not be possible due to poor visibility. The pink area represents the area where power outages could occur. The area inside the green dotted line represents the area where railway lines would stop operating. The scope of these impacts would grow larger with time. This is the 15th day of the eruption event. In the model case, you can see that the impacts of the ashfall that have been described spread out across the entire Greater Tokyo area.